The Purpose of Sets At the heart of the Kempo Karate system are self-defense techniques. These are sequences of motion practiced with a partner. One person performs some type of attack, and the other person runs through a series of movements meant to defend against that type of attack. These are the most misunderstood parts of Kempo. While self-defense techniques are groups of movements which must be learned and practiced, it should be stressed that these are not fixed formulae for responding to specific attacks. Grouping movement combinations into self-defense techniques provides the opportunity for a person to practice safely and repeatedly on person or persons, and through repetition, these movements become part of each candidate's unconscious response to an attack. By the time a candidate reaches black belt, they are proficient in defense against most any means by which one or more persons can attack them. The biggest misconception by those who don't study Kempo is that these sequences are fixed. These are basically a method to teach people the most techniques and concepts in the shortest amount of time. Let's take yellow belt one, for instance. From a natural stance, we just learned the natural stance. Step out into a left neutral bow. We just learned the neutral bow. Execute a right inside outside block. Just learned the inside outside block. Trap the punching hand. We just learned trapping. Execute a front snap kick to the attacker's ribs. We just learned a kick and target selection. A low side kick to the attacker's knee. We just learned another kick and a joint attack and how to take someone's height. Step out into a neutral bow facing 3 o'clock. We just learned movement and the clock method. Execute a palm heel strike to the attacker's elbow, breaking it. We just learned a new hand strike. We just learned a new target. It teaches you not to be afraid to end a fight. They also teach you how to logically link techniques together. If your bo body is rotating clockwise to execute a left hook, it wouldn't be a good time to link a right side kick into the middle of the rotation. It would be kind of null out the energy you've created with the clockwise rotation. Once the rotation is over, then a right side kick might be possible. So that's what sets are all about. They're not a bunch of set movements that you have to do when someone does something. They're just a way to teach you how to move, select targets, block, strike, using whatever weapon or strike or kick that you've learned when the appropriate time presents itself. Over time and through practice, the more techniques you learn, your attacks will vary depending on situation and specific details of the encounter. Remember, don't be a wolf. You might run into a sheepdog. And if you're a sheep, make a sheepdog your friend or have him teach you to be a sheepdog. Thank <laughs> you.